Hi everyone, in this video I would like to show you how Whisper API in OpenAI works. I have this empty project and I assume you have your OpenAI Unity package already installed. You can click on the update button and get the latest like I just do right now. Um, I will drop the GitHub URL in the, in the description so you can get it and download the package. So in the samples part of the package you can see whisper at the bottom we are going to import this package and play with the sample so let's go to project window open up uh, the samples open ai and whisper and let's open the scene you will see this basic ui there's a microphone selection there's a fill bar a text screen and the button what happens is um you might have multiple microphones you need to pick one so in, that's, this is the case for me and it was breaking sometimes. Let's run it. I will pick my microphone. So this is the last one. And I will just say something and see what happens. Test the OpenAI Unity package. So we are waiting. And yep, the transcription comes through. So what happens is uh, the transcription API uh, uh, endpoint receives the audio and then turns it into English takes the English audio turns it in turns it into pretty much text so this is what happens let's go to the code and see itself see what is going on in the code itself uh, in the start method I'm checking through the device microphone devices to uh, put them into a drop down so we can pick the right microphone we want to use and also, also setting the button for the recording Right after that, um, I start the recording, set UI things, and then start the microphone and turn it into an audio clip that we are saving the audio in inside. And then when the recording ends, actually we make the request to OpenAI. So I'm using a script I found called Save Wav, which helps me turn this in, turn this into a byte array. So I couldn't find a native way to do the byte, uh, cli audio clip to byte array conversion, so I used the script. And I'm sending this data to OpenAI request. Normally OpenAI all only takes file uh, directories. I turned it into byte array support as well, so we can handle everything in the memory and do not do any file saving. And we are going to use whisper-1 and receiving language is English, the transcription language. Another thing we can do is that also get translation of the audio. So I'm going to create a create audio translation request. Let's just turn this into that. Do not need to write the code again and create audio um, translation. So it takes the same thing, only language part won't be there. And we make the request, update method has a recording related thing, just filling the UI. And right after that, I am going to run this scene. Let's run it. So in this case, I'm going to speak Turkish and try to translate it into English because it is going to translate whatever I say into English. Şu an Türkçe konuşuyorum. So let's wait a couple of seconds. And yes, so it took the Turkish audio, it turned it into English, and I can see the translation right now. Not really regardless which language you speak, but there are many languages supported, and Turkish is one of them. And it was able to understand that and turn it into English. However, I noticed like some languages are not doing that well. Let's try for example Estonian. Uh, I'm not a very fluent Estonian speaker, but I'll try to say a couple of words uh, and let's see uh, what it does. Maregin estikelt. And let's wait. Need my reading assistance. So, didn't really work. Um, I'm speaking Estonian, sentence turned into something kind of close to what it would sound like English. I do not know. And let's try again. Maregnestikelt. Let's wait. And my name is Nicholas. 
Well, as you can see, it doesn't really do Estonian that well. Works with Turkish, works with English almost all the time. Uh, you can check the OpenAI documentation to see what more you can do. I uh, just wanted to quickly go through this and show you. Sample is available in the package itself. Uh, details are in the description. Make sure to uh, check that. And now you can actually send audio and get the text from it. And use that maybe text in your text completion or chat. Have a nice weekend.